So let us continue with our lesson and today we'll go and learn about the string data type. So let's go and see what is a string and we can say that string are just a sequence of a character. So which means that when we have more than one of a character then we can call it as a string. So basically this character has a single character over here but when we say about the string then it has a sequence of character and it's always in the double quote. We can see that the character is in a single quote but the string should be in a double quote. So let's go and uh, create uh, some variable of a string first. And I'll just say as a uh, val. And I'll say my string one is, uh, I will explicitly mention that this is a string data type. And I'll just say as empty string. And I'll also create uh, another one of uh, my string two. And I will not say that the explicitly mentioned as a string data type over here i'll just give a string value of let's say h-e-l-l-o hello the bar of the hello world so basically we have created a two string uh, variable one is my string and which has an empty string and another one is of my string two which has a value of hello world so this is a character sequence so we have a character one two three four five six seven eight so this is a sequence of character we can call it so let me go down over here. Let me go down over here. And when we call it as a sequence of character, how to access a sequence? So we can access it by a element of it, or we can access it by an index. So let me go and say as uh, my string two, my string two. And uh, we have uh, some value over here on uh, my string two, right? So if we go over here, top. You can see we have a assign a value of hello world. So let's not just change that one. Let me try to print out this one. So first of all, let me try to uh, just comment out this is a string that I type and I'll just call it as a log, log the E and I'll just say as a tag. And what I will do is I will just log the my string variable of a two and i will just access it by of a sequence of s sorry one and i will just say as dutch to a string so let me convert it to a string because this is a string we need to log it and i will just uh, start with a zero as an index and let me try to copy this uh three times so it should be zero and one and Two, three, zero, one, and two. Another three. Sorry for that. Let me log it and let me try to run the application for now. Let me select one application. Okay, that should be okay. And let me run the application. So our application is running. And let me go to the log card over here. Log card. And let me select my this one. And okay. And so let me select the error over here. And if you see over the tag over here, I have mentioned it tag over here, right? So this is a tag and you can see tag, 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 and tag. We have seen H-E-L-L. -L. So if you see over here, H-E-L-L-O, right? So we have printed a 0, 1, 0, 1, and 2, 3, and 4. So let us try to print up to 4 over here. So let me copy this to some more and let me just print it out. And I'll just call it as a sequence of an index of a three and four over here. So index in uh, Kotlin always start with a zero. So make sure that index is always uh, start with a zero. So we have to make it zero as our first character over here. This is a zero, one, two, three, and four. So if you try to run this one, we should print down the H E L L O. So let me rerun the application. So now you can see that we have print out the H E L L or hello. So this is how we access the sequence of characters. So as we talked about that a string is a, a string are just a sequence of character, then we can access it by a sequence it like this one. So we can access a single single character from one whole string. And when we talk about the string in a Kotlin, it's also a string are object of a string class. So there is a string class. So whenever we create a one string variable, so let me go to the top over here. And whenever we create a one variable of a string, that 
it has the object of a string class so which means that string are also immutable so immutable means you cannot change the value so how do we change the values like if we go down over here and let me say that as a my string over here my string zero if we can access then we should be able to change it so right my string and i access the variable the first index and i'll just assign some value over here what we can call it as a as a let me assign one value as a i will change it to as a t but if you see over here we cannot assign that and it says some error over here like if you try to give some value like uh, h it's also not available which means that string are immutable sorry it's a immutable which means it cannot be changed once you assign it and you cannot change the value of a string that way but we can reassign it so how we can re reassign is that i just can change the assigning so my my string 2 is equal to i will just call it as a hello there thgr so hello there so i can reassign the value over here if you notice that i have reassigned the value with uh, another string value of this one so previously we had a uh, some another value over here hello world but now i have reassigned the same string with a new a string of a hello world uh, sorry hello there so this way we can reassign a string but of course your data type the val you need to use as a sorry let me go to the top let me close everything and it may be a bit confusing i scrolling here and there so first of all we have create need to create as a var over here and if you go down over here and that we can reassign it with a new value of a string data type but we cannot assign it we cannot once we assign it we cannot change let's say you want to change this uh, index of a zero with some other string like let's say h with the a then that is not possible because string are immutable once you create it you cannot change it okay so uh we can just reassign it but we cannot change it so uh we'll continue with our lesson and this is a quite long video already so let's meet up and we'll continue with the string data type on our next lecture